Hey guys, Jared Wesley here of Live Traders and back for another trade review. Today guys, I'm gonna talk about a few trades that I took. It's actually two different symbols, but multiple trades on those symbols. A couple trades on SQ and one trade on Facebook. And as the title says, I lost 1300 and some dollars today. And you know what? These types of trading days can be frustrating. Why? Because I stopped out a couple times on SQ, stopped at break even on Facebook, and what do you see? You watch them just go like this for the rest of the day. And you're just like, right symbol, wrong time. And once in a while, guys, you just took a bad trade and it didn't work. And other times you took a decent trade at the wrong time, right? Does that make sense? And then there's a third option. There's another time where you took a, the right trade at the right time, but your specific or particular trade management doesn't work that well for that particular trading day. And that's kind of what happened here today. So let me talk a little bit about SQ first, okay? This was a pretty good gap up, gapping up over that 209 area on the 60 minute chart. Um, and it was just, it was a nice trade, okay? Meaning the gap up on the daily was decent. The 60 minute chart was pretty good, right? You can see it over that resistance area. There was room for this thing to move above, but one of the areas that was a little bit challenging was the 15 minute chart. At the end of the day yesterday, SQ just ripped straight up, right? So it was grinding higher, grinding higher, and in the last 30, 40 minutes today, it moved up like five or six dollars, which that's okay, it's very bullish, that's good, but then it gapped up again today. Well, I did really like SQ today, but that 15 minute was a bit of a concern. So I thought to myself, you know what? I want to see SQ just pop quickly off the open. We'll have a hit and run trade, get in, get out and move on. Well, I tried that. We used a one minute three bar play. So the pattern itself was perfect, right? A wide range bar followed by a narrow range bar. We got in right around 214.60 with a stop at like 213.50, 213.60, something like that. Uh, and this thing actually initially just ripped. Um, it ripped higher to the tune of about 80 or 90 cents. And for those of you that know my trade management, I go to break even. I raise my stop to break even after a one R move. Well, this one about 0.9 R. So I couldn't quite get to break even and then just slapped us and stopped us out. As you also know from previous videos, I do what I call an 84% rule. So I get back in any stock that fully stops me out. Well, I got right back in SQ and what happened? This time it went 0.95 R. I was up 950 bucks on this thing, and then it pulled back against us and stopped us out again. So I'm sitting there like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And the, the thing that really made this even more challenging and more frustrating is I was looking to take TIGR at the exact same time. We're talking to the chat room, I say, guys, SQ and Tiger, I wanna get in both of these trades. Well, by the time I got my order in for SQ, Tiger had already triggered, and it was a perfect two minute three bar play. I mean, perfect. And sure enough, what's the one that worked? TIGR worked pretty painlessly, and then SQ stopped us out. So it's just, you juggle it sometimes. You can only do so much as a human being, meaning I wanted to take both trades. I commented to the room, let's take both trades, but you gotta put them in one at a time. Well, even with hotkeys, even trading very quickly, I couldn't get both orders in. One stopped, one worked, it is what it is. That's life, that's trading. And then ultimately, SQ finds itself at 218, 219, and ultimately works, but after shaking us out. That happens sometimes, guys. There's nothing we really did wrong. It just sometimes the market gets you by the short hairs and sometimes your management, you know, triggers you out of something. Then later on, not much later on, I took Facebook. And this was a challenge, guys, because the markets today were very, very weak. The Qs and the SPY, the IWM were very weak. And what was happening with Facebook? It was holding the middle of the range. So the Qs are down at the bottom of the day's range, at the lows of the day, and Facebook is holding the middle of the range, which is a very, very bullish. And for those of you that are in the chat room, you know, whenever I see a FANG stock that's showing relative strength or relative weakness to the market, I am hot to trot. I am all over it. I probably have a 90% batting average on these. I'm serious, because when you can see a FANG stock, because they make up, you know the top 10 um, most weighted stocks in the NASDAQ 100 represent 51% of the weight of the NASDAQ 100? That's crazy. But anyway, Facebook happens to be one of those. So when you see the markets at the lows and Facebook's near the highs or in the middle of the range, you need to find an entry in it. Well, we got a little bit of a mid-level wedge uh, right around, I think it was the $310 area, $315 area. I don't remember exactly what the area was, um, but I think it was $314.50. Let me double check. 
my bed. It was $327.50 with about a $1 stop loss, $326.50. So it was a $1 stop loss. We're breaking above this wedge, okay? And it pops up, okay? It did a really nice job. It popped up. It went exactly one R, okay? So I took a little bit of my shares off. And then what did it do? It went back down six cents below break even, six cents, and then went higher, went about 1.5, 1.7 R, something like that. So ultimately on Facebook, I ended up making like $76 on it or something like that, okay? And it's a shame because it's a stock that looked like it might work. Now, ultimately the market did tank and Facebook started pulling back. Now, what was challenging about Facebook, guys, was it was up four days on the daily and it was nearing some resistance. It had about one hour, one and a half hours worth of room in it. And I said this to the chat room, guys, Facebook's a bit extended on the daily. This is a stock I normally would not have taken but the relative strength to the market was so extreme, so ridiculously good, I didn't have a choice. I mean, the market's at the low of the day and Facebook's near the high? That's rocket fuel. Market gets a tiny little green bar, Facebook takes off, all right? So we were just a little bit unlucky with management on Facebook. I think ultimately this trade probably would have worked, but at the end of the day, Instead, you know, I ended up losing about 1,350 bucks today, which is about 1.3 R, not a terrible. I mean, if you're gonna have a losing day, keep it relatively small. So minus 1,300 isn't too bad. Uh, it's just frustrating because you're watching SQ go higher, you're watching Facebook go higher, and you know you were in the right stuff, but at the wrong time. So what's the lesson here? Go back and review your trades at the end of the day and find out, did you do anything wrong? And when I look back today, not really, right? Facebook, it was more the management that got me, not the market, not the stock, not the extended nature of the stock. When I look at SQ, it was a bit aggressive because a one minute three bar play at 9.33 in the morning is always aggressive. Um, the 15 minute was a little bit extended, but I knew that, right? I even commented to the chat room. This is a hit and run trade, guys. We gotta get in, gotta get out fast. Well, it popped and dropped a little too quickly. So were they a little aggressive? They were, but we take aggressive trades frequently. So it was one of those days you look back on and go, you know, I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew what the expectation was and I managed that expectation. They just didn't work. And if you'll notice how close it was, we're literally talking about six cents, okay, on Facebook that went to break even versus being an $1,800 winner. And we're also looking at about 10 cents, something like that, between SQ going up to break even and then if it pulls back and stops us out, so what? We don't lose any money. So in a lot of ways today could have just as easily been a $2,000 day instead of a minus $1,300 day. Why is that important to understand? Because you need to understand, did you do something really egregiously wrong or did you trade well and just not get paid for it? I'm leaning towards that side today. I was definitely a little bit aggressive, but I wasn't overly crazy or stupid or foolish or on tilt, any of those things. Today, we're just a little bit unlucky. Sometimes you're the pigeon, sometimes you're the statue. I'll put a couple, couple minutes of those trades, guys, into the end of this video so you guys can see some of the live fills. I did also take SQ one more time a little bit later on. I only made a couple hundred bucks on it because again, it tagged us a break even and then hit, uh, hit target ultimately. So not the world's worst day, but certainly not the best day either. And it was just one of those days where you know, the market gets you tongue tied and twisted, pretzel tied. That's why they say this business is a mind bleep, right? It can, it messes with your mind, but go back, see what you did right, see what you did wrong, make adjustments and corrections, and tomorrow is another day. I'm Jared Wesley of Live Traders. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you guys. Um, in fact, I'm gonna put an order in for SQ. 60 by 213, 60. Popped almost one R, but I'm about to be stopped out of this thing. Keeping an eye on SQ. All right. All right, back in SQ, guys. Man, this thing filled me 15 cents late. Did the same damn thing. Didn't didn't quite go. Why is that doing that? Didn't quite go one R. Went about 0.9. Unreal <laughs> on SQ today. Unreal. Okay. So unfortunately, SQ 84% is not going to work. 
It's about to tag me here. Yep. All right. I'm out SQ, guys. And um, trying to decide if I want to. If you got back in SQ for the third time, stop break even. If you got back in SQ for the third time, stop break even. All right. We'll see. SQ a break even. I made 300 bucks off that thing, so uh, best trigger. I was not expecting that. This, you know, is a little bit aggressive on Facebook because of the daily. Follow through is going to be challenging, guys. We talked about it. All right. Really? Stop break even Facebook, guys. Stop break even Facebook. All right, stop break even Facebook. And not going to get it done. We're going to be out of this at break even. Come on, bounce. Nope. It's got some daily junk to the left. This, this wasn't the best trade in the world. The fact that we got to break even is okay with me. Um, I was hoping to get more off up there, but it just wouldn't fill me. Um, so, Can I take a look at Dow Long? All right, here comes the Facebook, guys. All right, I'm out Facebook at break even, guys.